dawn. She found him on the balcony asleep and woke him wide-eyed to the mud mask on her face. He was back in his own clothes and the film with the walking dead he had recently seen had come to life in her and he almost cried out. She had begun already to laugh at his expression and he told her the mud looked like dried blood. Three young girls walked the sidewalk to school outside and looked up to her west side Chicago balcony where her bloodied or muddied face threatened the morning and then threatened them with eyes and teeth in a shine. Do you see me? I am real, little ones. I am real. She glared back at him, and he rolled on his stomach and buried his face in his pillow to muffle his laughter. He was pure. She made him pure. The new sun too harsh for his pale young skin. The thin blanket, soft and light, from his thin ankles to his waist he was. He was a child and could sleep again without fear of waking to the burdensome sound. And he did. In her room, untouched by the sun, with a glass of water bedside.